Hey everybody, it's Scott Bishop from Avidian Well Solutions. First of all, we wanted to say Happy New Year from all of us here at Avidian Well Solutions. We're here today to talk about a really important thing and a very timely topic. We're hearing from a lot of our clients, what should I do to start 2023 so that at the end of the year, we're financially better off than we are starting the year? It kind of goes back to what we all think about, New Year's resolutions. Most of us really think about things like losing weight or maybe spending more time with the kids. The one great thing about financial planning and finances is there's nothing more quantifiable to keep you on track than financial resolutions. If you say you want to have $10,000 in the bank by the end of the year, you could figure out a way to get that done. It could be by getting a side gig like driving for Uber, or it could be by cutting out some of your expenses, but you can come up with a plan and have check-ins along the way to see if you're on track for that goal. One of the things that gets complicated about finances is there's so many things. It could be tax issues, it could be estate planning, wills, insurance, it could be money, it could be retirement, it could be kids' 529 plans to set up for college. So the most important thing to do is to sit down your family and figure out what's important. And if what's important to you isn't easy to find out, right below this YouTube video, there's a link to an article we wrote on the Avidian website talking about how to think through and set and control your New Year's resolutions. There's a lot of things it could be. It could be getting your estate plan in order, maybe sitting down with your significant other and putting together wills and trusts. It could be something like getting enough life insurance so something happened to you or your spouse, the kids will be taken care of or your spouse will be taken care of. It could be making sure you're on track for retirement and figuring out how many years you have left and how much do you need? What is that retirement number? And how can you make sure that works well for you? It could be reviewing your tax return from last year and to see, is there anything we could do in 2023 to pay less in taxes? All those things are important. They're really great things to consider. And if you really write them down and actually have a plan, our goal here at Avidian Wealth is to help you figure out how to get your plan on track and to meet and beat those New Year's resolutions you set for yourself in 2023. Have a great year.